here. That's wood inside, perhaps one cubic inch in an extrusion alloy of aluminium. Mm. これ、これはアルミニウムの射出成形で it's not a casting because of extrusion alloy. これはあのもちろん中造でこういう形にしたものではありません。これは射出成形で作った金属塊ですから。Here is something similar to what you've seen on the video. This is metal, a stainless steel bar that's falling all apart in bits and pieces. これはあの先ほどのビデオでお見せしたようなサンプルの一つです。ステンレスチールの棒でこういうふうに真ん中のところで壊れてしまいました。and moving along to the next one here is a piece of aluminum. I have many of these pieces, different sizes and shapes and forms, and actually you can see coinage in, impressed in it and also mixed in with this material. This is aluminum extrusion again. これもアルミニウムの射出成形で作った金属塊ですけれども、ご覧になれるかと思いますが、金属、コインが押し付けられてその形が映ってしまっているんです。そして実際に中にもコインが入ってしまっているのがご覧になれると思います。Zapping along here to another, I like stainless steel because it's tough stuff. Um, here we have stainless steel here, one single bar that broke apart. And not too much damage done to it except that uh, in the center you'll see a lot of little bubbles. これ、これもちょうど真ん中のところで切れてしまったステンレスチールの棒なんですけれども、面白いことにこの真ん中のところが泡状になっている、切れた面が泡状になっている他はそれ以上特に大きな影響を受けていないんです。you can see the uh, pressure points around the, I'll put it together, you can see the bell shape pressure. こうやってみますと、ここからどういうふうに圧力がかかっていたかというのがわかると思います。まるで金のような感じに端っこのところがこう枕上がっているのがわかると思います。And our last great big piece here, I didn't bring everything down, but is a piece of stainless steel that's uh, tougher than titanium. これはチタン、チタンよりも強いステンレススチールの棒です。as you can see, if you look closely, there's a crystallization and evaporation process, and the thing is bent and at the very end. You can see disintegration. ここ、ここ端のところはこういうふうにとバラバラになっているというか分解してしまっていますし、真ん中のところには結晶化が起こっていて、そこのところで曲がってしまっています。I have many different kinds of samples. Uh, a lot of them luckily have been analyzed, the smaller ones. I like keeping the big ones because they're rather more impressive. And um, I'll be submitting maybe this one for an analysis. Uh, Germany did a lot of research on my samples, Max Planck Institute, Berlin Laboratories the Bundes Republic for Proving Materials and Fraunhofer. So that basically ends the, the metal episode here in Star Trek, but um, uh, a little later on I'll demonstrate my crystal converter. 今は主に金属界のお話をしましたけれども、後であのパネルディスカッションの時に実際にコンバーターのデモンストレーションもしようと思っております。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
So we have another hour to roll. Okay, I gotta think up some things to talk about. さて何を話すか考えなきゃいけませんね。<笑> the pressure's on, as they say. My goodness. Well, how come this has all that cats right there? Ah, さてちょっと。This is working. <笑>これはどうなってるかな。ちゃんと動いてますね。Okay, so how shall I fill in the time now? Hmm, I'm stumped. Okay, well, I'll just keep talking away, I guess. What about、uh, your talk about? Sorry, I haven't got it here. Uh huh. Is it? Is this my speech? I'm going to read this. This is something I wrote. I don't have to read it. Okay. It's going to help me. This is really, yes, I know. I did my own handwriting. See, I can't even read my own handwriting. I think I can't even read my own handwriting. Okay, it seems that I've covered some of that ground when I was talking on video. ビデオでお話したこととちょっと重なる部分もあるかと思いますけれども、so、そこでちょっと今こうやって確かめて今まで出てこなかったことをちょっとチェックしようと思います、uh, ゼロポイントエネルギーのエネルギーの話がだいぶ出たと思いますが And,、um, you may wonder what in blazes is going on here 一体どんなこと,んでもないことが起こっているのかというふうに思われるかもしれません。The, uh, a, 現在世界、世界中の非常に有名な科学者たちが、まあ、一種の運動と言っていいようなものを起こしています。Uh, René Louis Vallée of France,、um, uh, Andrea Sacra, Sakharov, who now has passed away, unfortunately.、Uh, Kaputsa, Kaputsa, I believe it is, of、um, Soviet Union again. Kaputsa? Kaputsa?、Mm -hmm. uh, France, no, Rune Vare, and, もう亡くなられましたけども、Andre Saharov, and so on. Yeah.、Um, just to name a few, Dr. Hal Putov. The time is how they say in Star Trek talk. Getting into a time warp here, we're coming down、mm -hmm. to zero points. So,、mm -hmm. well, I'd like to thank you all for your sitting through this lecture and for your attention. So, 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 so,
This is extrusion alloy using machine work. It's high tensile strength using for airplanes and that. It appears it went into a different, uh, almost like a different dimension and was ripped apart, almost like wood. It appears like wood. Yeah, believe it or not, it's, it is aluminium. It's in here that have been disrupted. And also, uh, migration of pure um, uh, atomic elements uh, accumulating, such as copper and, uh, and sodium and that. And then these tests were done by Los Alamos and other laboratories around the world. で、この人は金属品に着きましては、ロサラブスとの研究所で、いくつかの科学的な装置によって測定されました。例えば、操作型の電子顕微鏡を使った、あ、測定ですとか。そういったものを行いました。で、そうしましたところ、この破断面の中
And this other slide is U.S. Army intelligence, but it's not stamped anything. This says number two and has a code on it. So these are some of the original things that happened in 1983. I'm a uh, lieutenant tech colonel uh, from Pentagon to Rosales, or Rosales Yeah, he's now in charge of um, the non-lethal technology. Okay, and he moved from Rosales to Pentagon, Pentagon to Rosales. Yeah, he moved the, from, from the Pentagon to Los Alamos National Laboratory. I treat these things like gold because it, it took so much energy to get them, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, hey, like, well, we're trying. <laughs> well, that doesn't show too much, but... <laughs>
first day experiment. We, this was a two-day experiment, full, full intensity. This is the end result of day day one. Is that this table, this table with all the samples floated up the aisle and can be seen very clearly on video, floating. From here to here, you can see the closeness here of this edge along this milk crate. And then, of course, one sees uh, quite a displacement of all the samples here and here, and this edge has now almost moved to the end of the milk crate. And on analysis. And during analysis of the McDonald Douglas uh, video, we found that this moved uh, on day number one, uh, actually.